getting off the main Riverina Highway the first night. And getting speed wobbles, so got a hammer and try and straighten the trailer a little bit. It's a little bit off centre. First night's campsite, still got to fix the extra wheel trailer, somehow, I'm not sure how, but anyway, if you look at it closely, there's only a little gap on that side, and there's a big gap on that side, and I think for that reason it's making it, yeah, definitely not running straight, that's for sure. So I've got a hammer, bought a hammer, a Corowa, and hopefully I can bang it back into shape. So I assume one of these bits is a bit out by the look of it somehow. Anyway, tomorrow. Let's get the tent up. In the sunshine. Another cold night coming up. It'll be a frost, that's for sure. The only problem with winter travel, the coldness and the frost in the morning. I don't mind that it frosts so much, but as soon as this starts to melt on your tent, because it's on the inside, because of the condensation, then it just starts to drip. So as soon as the sun comes up, I like to put it in the sun, just dry it out, to stop it dripping all on me. If you're inside the tent now, it all starts to drip on top of you. A lot has changed since last time we spoke. Well, I spoke on YouTube. And hopefully it's stopped the speed wobbles, which has stopped me. I've got a new headset, a Visco set. It stops the wobbling. It's got some plates inside it, and it stops the wobbling. So now I've got no wobbles. So finally at last, my bike is steady. What well, seems to be. I haven't got it fully heavy loaded but at the moment that's reasonable load on it and it's running perfect it's running like it should have always ridden so yeah it's perfect at the moment for the very first time you may notice i'm in wodonga at the moment the border of Victoria and New South Wales. I'm back to where I started, sort of. Okay, so what's happened is, I was getting the speed bubbles with the extra wheel trailer, phenomenally just dangerous. I had it loaded to heavy because I was moving to Madura, all my items and stuff like that. And so, got the speed bubbles bad. The trailer was fishtailing, the bike was fishtailing. It's just dangerous, very, very dangerous. Anyway, got to Korowa, camped there, lightened my load, and had my sister coming to pick it up. And she was gonna take the load. I was gonna persevere, but like that. In the meantime, she was buying a car in Melbourne. So she was selling my old car. Anyway, she wasn't gonna get a lot for it. And because I was getting the speed wobbles, and nothing seemed to be working at the time. I decided to rebuy my car Oof. for the moment and get things sorted out. Goes up steep. I've also ordered a wireless stereo Bluetooth microphone, a new computer, a new drone, a new tripod, a new headset to stop the wobbles. Yeah, there should be completely different videos that come out. Hopefully.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three. That was steep. Even though I'm not going anywhere, I put a bit of weight on the bike just to test it. It's got six, seven, eight litres of water, plus a bit of a load from what I could in. Try and see if it got the wobbles. It's not fully loaded. I don't normally put the big panniers on the front. little test ride and I'll head back down the headset just feels like it's done up properly for the first time that's honestly what it, the difference feels like compared to what it was anyway finally feels sort of like the Koga used to feel which I'm glad of Big difference. Right, here we'll go fully loaded down the mountain bike track. Testing trail for a, a fully loaded mountain bike. That bike. I didn't want to go for all the gates. But yeah, that was pretty rough. Fully loaded. Made it. Totally different bike. Yeah. There's the slightest, but that's what you should be able to do. <laughs> A little bit, also. 
waiting, but yeah, it's working good. <laughs> I'd even have trouble going no hands fully loaded on the Koga, so that's pretty good. It's pretty straight. It's very good. Yippee! We might get to tour again soon. Add the drone and all that, it should be pretty impressive.